Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Paul here. So today, this is all about the top five uh, entry-level certifications in Salesforce, okay? Essentially, how is it from an early age to say so you can actually make crazy money, okay? With that said, what is it that we're gonna be focusing today and why is it that you actually should pay attention, okay? To start from, so uh, the expectation is that till 2024, Salesforce will create 4.2 uh, uh, million jobs, okay? Uh, across the globe and I'll give you then the big numbers okay so 900,000 is the expectation for the US okay then you have roughly around 500,000 that will be created in Europe okay and roughly 800,000 in APAC okay and the rest across the globe okay if that would not be enough the expectation is also that the Salesforce economy will generate uh, 9.3 million jobs till 2026 okay and roughly 1.6 trillion in revenue okay it seems already quite interesting but then on top of that if you are actually keen for technology and software essentially one of the best industries to be uh, on uh, today and in the future uh, within that CRM remains both the largest and the fastest growing uh, set uh, okay within within the industry okay I will translate this into numbers okay so as we stand right now uh, according to the market cap it's roughly around 271 billion worth according to Gartner and the expectation is that will go up to 421 billion okay so with that said the question is how is it that I can actually land a job within this industry okay so this is what I'm gonna be sharing with you today so we're gonna be covering that how is it that you can actually um, carve your way into the this industry what is it that you should expect uh, in terms of certifications what jobs you can actually aspire to have and then uh, also, I'm going to share with you what is it that you actually need to study. Uh, what are the courses to get the uh, most in-demand certifications, so the top five. Okay, with that said, don't go anywhere, stick around, uh, subscribe, join me on this journey, uh, give it a thumbs up and, you know, okay, stay put for the first one. So, starting with the first one. So, what is it that you actually need to do in order to break into the Salesforce industry? Okay, so with that said, uh, I'm gonna give you a quick one on myself as well. So, I've been working on Salesforce since 2012 and that was the most accurate and smartest decision that I ever done in my professional life, okay? Uh, I've worked with over uh, 40 Salesforce projects across different countries, okay? And this is why I can say to you that if you are looking for the next best thing, okay, or the actually the thing, this is the one, okay? With that said, uh, if you wanna know more about this or if you have questions around this that I'm not gonna cover during this video, feel free to reach out to me via my LinkedIn or via my YouTube, drop it uh, on the comments below, I'm happy to reply, okay? With my LinkedIn, I'm gonna drop it there as well uh, and you can reach out to me if you have any questions whatsoever. Okay, let's go into this. So I'm gonna teach you then how is it that you can actually break into this industry, okay? so. Uh, my advice is the following, okay? So to start from, um, I'm gonna be then uh, explaining to you how is it that you can actually break into this and for that I'm gonna be speaking about how popular is the certification that you should be looking at to take. Then I'm gonna be also teaching you or giving you my advice in terms of, of jobs. What jobs can you actually aspire to have with those top five certifications? And then uh, how marketable are they? So with that said, I'm gonna give some kind of a rating in terms of stars so that actually facilitate also your uh, thought process and your decision making, okay? With that said, let's go then into the first one okay looking into popularity how popular uh, are the different certs and then uh, I'm gonna go into the next one starting with this one so my advice would be for you to start with um, Salesforce developer is one that you should really take a look at at the entry level okay because it has really high high popularity so I'll give it five stars okay moving forward uh, Salesforce admin I'll give it four stars okay uh, in terms of popularity 
um, and then moving forward the the other three i would say martin uh, email specialist okay i'll give it five stars as well uh, it's really in demand and then i would also talk about commerce cloud that i'll give roughly three stars and then also service cloud that i'll give it four stars okay with this said, uh, this covers the popularity okay let's go into the next one marketability okay so going into this one okay so if you're looking to become a Salesforce developer in terms of marketability, I'll give it five stars as well. Uh, you can expect roughly around uh, a, a really a tremendous growth. So if you take a look into the last five years, we had a growth of roughly 206%, okay, across the five years in terms of demand, okay, so that you have a, an understanding of that. And then we are just talking about roughly around 900, um, thousand jobs in us alone okay for this specific uh certification or in connection to this okay developers okay moving forward admin i'll give it five stars why five stars all and every company actually needs a proper admin okay with that said i'll give it five stars um you're gonna have roughly around uh 48 000 jobs in the us alone okay with that said moving forward uh one of the things that i feel that is still a bit underrated but i'll give it five stars in terms of marketability and that is around the marketing email specialist so within marketing cloud okay why you may ask so here this is all about digital transformation okay uh and this is actually upon us thank you covid19 okay so that is only one of the few things that I can thank you for, but nevertheless, okay, that is one of the things that really fast track digital transformation a lot. So there is, I would say, a hyper growth in terms of the demand uh, that actually impacts also e-commerce, okay, and everything that is related to Martin Cloud and Martin technology okay with that said i would highly highly advise you for you to actually to take a look into this one next commerce cloud i would give it four stars in terms of marketability why once more thanks to covid19 e-commerce e went from a 10 percent growth up to a 40 percent growth okay really tremendous okay last but not least uh i would go for service cloud okay so why service cloud i would give it four stars okay in terms of marketability it could be even be like a four and a half i would say why uh for you from a from a perspective of the individual uh you will gain a lot because you are put in the middle of the mud uh between rackets working in terms of troubleshooting with the users with with uh, the customer etc you will be learning a lot okay and why such a high marketability because the customer is king and more than ever, customer centricity is the way to go, okay? So customer is the heart of uh, service cloud, okay? With that said, let's go for the next one. So here we are talking about what job can you actually expect to take, to have, sorry, with regards to this. So if you're gonna be going into a developer, to start from, I'll give it five stars, okay? In terms of what job can you actually get? Uh, in terms of the certainty that you're gonna get that job. So if you take the the, the certification, uh, you can expect to become a developer and from a developer, you can expect to become a tech lead and eventually an architect, okay? And um, if you go into an architect level, then uh, meaning the numbers will go up and up and up in terms of salary. If you wanna know more about all of this that I'm talking about in terms of how much can you actually expect to get, uh, check the link above, I'll drop it. I made a video around that on uh, all the biggest certifications and how is it that, uh, how much can you actually get around um, different countries such as Belgium, the UK, the Netherlands, etc. So I made the video for each and one of those. Take a look into that one so that you're gonna get, um, uh, you're gonna understand how much can you actually get uh, around Salesforce across the different uh, professions, okay? With that said, let's continue. Uh, if you're gonna go into an admin position, I would give it five stars, okay? In terms of, of jobs that you can get, why? Because admin is like the baseline of almost everything Salesforce related, okay? And will allow for you to grow a lot, okay? Up to where to, to you can actually get, so I would say business analyst, 
I'll say eventually uh, after an entry level can start to get more and more experience so you can expect actually to go into a sales cloud consultant position very well paid and in extreme demand and then uh, you can also become uh, a project manager and last but not least if you continue to work on this you're going to be working on the sales side a lot and the expectation is that you can even go up to become a chief revenue officer okay all of those up to a certain point it's all six figures up okay with that said let's go into the next one so martin cloud i'll give it five stars okay so what is it that you can actually expect uh, to become uh, within martin cloud or what is it what kind of job so i'm talking about content marketing i'm talking about life cycle martin manager essentially running campaigns and then last but not least i would say martin analytics so more than ever you need to understand um and you need to guide your campaigns based on analytics and not just get feeling and knowledge so that is the last piece Martin Analytics is also in high demand, okay? With that said, let's go for the next one. So here I'm talking about Commerce Cloud, okay? Commerce Cloud, I'll give it four stars, okay? You can expect actually to work on B2C Commerce, B2B Commerce as a developer or even as an architect, okay? Last but, but not least to wrap this up, Service Cloud, okay? So I'll give it four stars, okay? Uh, what is it that you can actually expect uh, after you take the certification in terms of job? Uh, you can work as a service agent, as a service operation analyst, as a service manager, and then last but not least on the top, you can actually start uh, to think, okay, I will become then a chief customer officer, okay? With that said, wrapping this up, let's go for the next one. To close, uh, how to study for certs, okay? So I'm gonna give you my advice, uh, but uh, more than that, if you wanna know more how to actually study uh, on top of the courses that you should be actually looking at, that's what I'm gonna be sharing right now. Take a look at the link that I'm gonna drop it there, uh, where I'm uh, breaking down how is it that I study for my certifications, and I'm gonna give you actually a concrete example of a certification that I took that was around Salesforce uh, Martin Cloud Admin, and I was uh, successful on that, okay? So I had uh, an average of roughly 90%, so, I'm guessing that you're going to be able to have it as well if you follow up with my method. Okay, with that said, let's go into the first one, uh, Salesforce Admin, what are the courses out there that you should actually be looking at? Okay, with that said, uh, let's go. So starting with the Trail Mix, okay, go to Trailhead and uh, check the Admin administrator certification trail mix okay so apart from that take a look at focus on force okay it's a really uh i would highly highly advise you okay within focus on force take a look at study guide and then practice exams okay on top of that also uh if you're gonna go into the martin cloud uh there is also a martin cloud certification exam uh, by Salesforce that it's roughly around 900 euros, 900 um, US dollars, okay? Uh, then, moving to the next one, Salesforce Martin Cloud uh, Email Specialist. With this, I would advise also the Trail Mix, okay? That is free from any kind of, of charge, let's say. Uh, with the Martin Cloud Email Specialist. Then on top of that, in terms of a course, I would go for the Martin Cloud Email uh, Specialist Certification by Salesforce. And then I would also do, uh, there is a prep of an exam with Martin Cloud uh, Admin. If you wanna take a look into that, that is roughly around 900 euros, 900 uh, US dollars, okay? Moving forward, Salesforce developers. What is it that I would strongly advise you, okay? Take a look into the certification preparation for Dev1, okay? So it's roughly around 900 euros, uh, US dollars as well. So this by Salesforce, or mm, also take a look at the course on Udemy, okay? That is, that covers also platform app builder. All of this allows for you to have a rounder understanding of Salesforce on the automations and the, uh, the developer side of things that would grant you, um, let's say, a more uh, successful uh, capacity in terms of the, of the exam or probabilities of actually passing, okay? So then the other point around this is I would highly, highly advise you to take a look at Focus on Force as well on the study guide and also on the practice exams for the Salesforce developer okay then with commerce cloud 
uh, I'll say I would advise you two, okay? One with Udemy, okay? And the other one with EJMI Guru, okay? So those would be uh, my thoughts with regards to Commerce Cloud, last but not least Service Cloud, okay? So here I would um, go straight into Focus on Force and go for the study guide and the practice exams, okay? With that said, hopefully this was an interesting session. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, also guys, if you think otherwise that there, there are other certifications in terms of entry level that um, uh, the people should actually take a look at, just uh, put it on the comments below. And if you have any questions, doubts, concerns, just give me a shout, I'm happy to help. With that said, I'm going, take care, cheers, bye-bye.